Hi everyone and welcome to part two of the shells video. This you see is my finished shells painting. Couple of options for you if you don't have paint. And we talked about this in the last video. If you would like to just use colored pencil, you can do that. So here is a example, just using colored pencil, okay? And remember, they're all put together with no little space in between. So it's a nice composition. If you have this finished already and you have, I'll just give you a little example. I pressed hard on the lines, the inside lines here, okay? Like this. So the inside lines or the outlines of the shells, you're gonna press a little harder with your colored pencil. All right, that's your first option. To color that in with just colored pencil, you want to take a little bit of a different color. All right, let's start with this one here. And I'll take a yellow colored pencil. And on the side, using the side of my pencil or the tip of your pencil, whichever you prefer, you can lightly color it in. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Okay, give you that nice inside part of the shell. So what you're trying to achieve is when you have a shell, you the lines are a little bit darker and the inside is a little bit lighter, okay? That's if you have just colored pencil at home and that is okay, all right? So what you wanna do is lights and darks. Get my finger on there correctly, light, dark. All right. If you have watercolor pencils, all right, like this. This is all watercolor pencil. And remember the outside lines are drawn in and colored in with your watercolor pencil. You're going to take a, a paintbrush, a little bit of water, just a little bit of water I have here and a paintbrush. And let me get this a little bit closer. You will just go over the lines, it's starting to spread a little bit. And the way to control that, only a drop or two of water, just a little bit of water. Again, I have the smallest container of water. Not a lot on my brush. So I can come in a little closer. I'm going right just over these lines, just like that. I'm really not painting in the inside. If you want to paint in the inside here, my suggestion, let this dry. What you're putting in here, let dry, okay? I'm going to fill in a little of the lines on the inside with just the water. And that gives you a little light and dark. Now, I've made a bit of a smudge here because I'm holding it upright. So when you're painting, keep your paper flat. And you know what I'll do with that? I'll let that dry. I'll draw in another shell and that will cover that all up. Reason it's dripping is because I have it on an angle. All right. If you just have markers at home, and that's fine. Let's draw this one out. So let's see. Let's make a shell. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. All right. Okay. This is using marker. You just have markers. All right. What do you think? What do you think you should do? I think you know. A little bit of that water go right over the lines of the marker. Now, I don't know if you knew, but you can turn markers into just a little bit of paint. Okay, and that's how you finish this art lesson. Carefully, let me get that in it correctly. There you go. It's just as good as using watercolor paint. Markers, this is what I'm using. Crayola washable marker, you can use the other markers. Don't use a permanent marker, okay? Just use the watercolor base markers. 
And remember again to go over your lines with a little bit of water. And you're finished. Sign the bottom somewhere, okay, with a dry pencil. And you have your masterpiece, shell painting. Fourth option, if you only have pencil, regular pencil, you can do the same thing in black and white and just shade lightly, okay? Enjoy, take your time, have fun with this lesson. I miss you all.